Anywho, Xbox turned down the opportunity to make exclusive <laughs> Spider-Man game. How do you Ooh. feel about that, Gregory? All right, so I, I guess we'll we'll start off uh, with a little background. Uh, what what happened? Uh, so first and foremost, two two people got together. Uh, and they decided, well, no, it was, a, it was an organization. So Disney got together a few years back uh, and decided to make some radical changes. They decided that video game development was not for them. They kind of understood after attempting to develop their own games for a certain amount of years that they were not really skilled enough to deliver on their catastrophically notarized and, no, and you know, an infamous and famous IPs, so they figured that they could go and get other people that are more experienced in the field of video games to do it. Um, so what did they do? They shut down their studios. They got rid of a bunch of games like uh, like Disney Infinity. They got rid of uh, a couple other uh, games that they had created. A couple projects from Star Wars that were uh, that were uh, in production. Everything got shut down. And what they started to do is they started to license out their games by hiring experienced developers to create those titles. Before Sony was approached, Disney and Marvel actually approached Xbox and said, "Hey, it's us. We want to make an X. We want to make a um, a Marvel game. We're thinking Spider Man, but we want to make a Marvel game, and we want you guys to make it." And you know what Xbox said? Xbox said. License game? I don't know. Right now, we want to focus on our own original IP. <clears throat> Which is bizarre, because they said that, and then in the next two years, they went out of their way to buy a bunch of studios that made games that weren't their own original IPs, but but whatever. But anyway, um, out of that, they end up turning down that agreement. So from there, they, are, they reach out to PlayStation, and they're like, yo, we want to make a game. We want it to be a Marvel game. We think we want it to be Spider-Man. Um, how do you guys feel? And and um, from there, Sony's like, mm, <laughs> yeah, of course it's going to be Spider-Man because we already own the movie rights and Sony is synonymous with Spider-Man anyway. So we have the perfect team. Thus, Insomniac Studios, who is now purchased at the time they were a, a second party developer for Sony, uh, were elected to make the Spider-Man game and the Spider-Man game came to be as we know it. Um, and this is an interesting story because where Xbox has missed an opportunity on one of the one of the biggest licensed video games and in, in video game history. Uh, we also continue to see that Xbox makes things difficult for themselves when it comes to managing their games and de- and and managing their developers. So, like, like Perry, I, I know this is probably more of a you question because I know Lady Gunner be like, Psh, whatever, Spider Man on PlayStation, I'm playing it. Like, so, like, where where does this like leave you in terms of like Xbox and? kind of like where where they are in, in sense of their their stable of games and, and IP and so on. With this in particular story, it is a huge missed opportunity. Um, and they didn't pay attention to the impactfulness of what Spider-Man can actually bring to the table. Uh, it was just not someone paying attention. Not pe- I, I want to say paying attention to the now. Not, someone not knowing their history. Um and it shows in a lot of how can I say this Xbox focuses more <clears throat> not on the individuality of what games bring for themselves but how Xbox went into the focus of games as a service now, individually, Spider-Man is a powerhouse itself. There's no denying that. Regardless on games being great or bad, shows here or there, Spider-Man is going to be a powerhouse itself. I believe Xbox at the time was focusing more on game as a service type deal, and they couldn't see how Spider-Man could actually be beneficial to that, especially with the IPs that they had at the time, which were their focus on Halo. Um, 
again, I've seen too many stories on how Xbox mishandles their IPs. Um, there's game studios and things of that nature. So, miss opportunity for them. Bullet dodge for the other side. Yeah, I can see that. For sure. <clears throat> because the way the reception has been done with Sony and Spider-Man has been, oh, y'all did that? Here's your red carpet. Make me more money. Do what you want. Essentially is what they did. So. Yeah. That's my take. I don't. I, I'm getting tired, unfortunately. Like, I, it's become tiresome to. It's like punishing a child that just don't want to learn. I'm tired of speaking <laughs> ill will on Xbox. Damn, that's deep. Like, it's that's like deep. Me, me talking down on you or this, that, and the third, me spanking you behind. You ain't learning nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to learn your mm-hmm. lesson. You want to you wanna go your own route all the time. That's fine. I just want you to be the best way, best person that you can at this point. If these are the decisions that you're going to make, make the best of them. Make something come become fruitful from the decisions that you make. You have Game Pass. Again, great idea. Phenomenal idea. Great for gaming. That's all yeah. I got for you, Playboy. Yeah, and I mean, and that's my thing because, like, overall, like when you look at it, like the timeline just doesn't make sense. Because what we got Spider Man in twenty eighteen, mm-hmm. um, so that means that they would have had to approach them and like, and it, which does make sense, like around like twenty fourteen, twenty fifteen. And at this point, this was a point where Xbox did not have any games, like, and it's like you're turning down the opportunity to make a a Marvel game like at a time when you don't have any games like can we like I don't I'm, I'm gonna google it here because I'm just curious now granted you know I am not a video game historian bible uh, but I'm just curious to see uh, what big Xbox games came out in 2015 <laughs> let's see 2015 alright so we got State of Decay, yeah. We got Witcher, we got Arkham Knight. Like so, a lot of these games are third-party games. Now, there doesn't look to be much in the way of, and I'm just kind of going through Resident Evil remake. Mm-hmm. Uh, Evolve exclusives, yeah. exclusives, exclusive Playboy. Exclusive. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I don't see anything except for a state of k year one edition mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um do the following year they clearly was just having a slow year that well halo 5 guardians came out that year <clears throat> that was trash um quantum break mm-hmm, uh mm-hmm. Was, was around this time mm-hmm. um Rise of the Tomb Raider was around this time, which is completely wild. They said that they were were, were focused on their own IP at that time, and I remember they actually bought the exclusive rights uh, for a year to Rise of the Tomb Raider, which actually significantly uh, impacted the numbers that that game did. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, yeah, like, and I and I'll go for 2016 and see what we got there, but. Like this points to an idea again, and I think this was around the time that Phil Spencer maybe had just got in to Xbox. If, but if, if that's if, when Phil wasn't there, then if, to Phil Phil has shown that if it makes any type of sense, he's gonna make that move. Phil Phil 